Hello, and welcome to this first tutorial key point video of uh, W200. At the um, tutorial, we looked at introductions. Introductions to fellow students and introductions to the course. Now, I'll be sending out uh, an email shortly inviting you to uh, put any details that you want that uh, can be shared with fellow students so that you can get in touch and uh, work with those students outside tutorials and I would strongly encourage you to do so. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit lonely working on your own and the value of working to, together, sharing ideas, sometimes having a shoulder to cry on can be extremely useful in uh, boosting your performance in, on this course. But we also looked did an introduction to the course itself and we started off by putting the course in context in terms of the other parts of the uh, law degree program. Uh, we looked at the, the uh, elements of the course, again putting uh, each individual uh, part in the context of the whole and this is such an important point in learning. If you try to uh, uh, learn, memorise uh, a series of unrelated facts, one, you won't find it uh, uh, very effective. Uh, secondly, it will be very difficult. Uh, and thirdly, you won't actually learn anything. But if you put things in, in context, looking where everything fits together, you'll find that it's easier to learn, it's more readily remembered, and it will act as a springboard for further understanding. So um, it may seem a lot of time to spend, but do look ahead at the course, look at the different elements, and map for yourself where you're going to be going over the next few months. We looked at the course itself and the parts that were there, the English legal system, which is the first few weeks, um, which looks at the courts, the personnel in um, the legal system and deals with some of the debates about uh, juries and magistrates, uh, which looks at uh, the raw material of law. The statutes, also known as Acts of Parliament, those terms are uh, completely the same. Um, and case law, uh, so you look at the doctrine of precedent. Then we'll do the taster for uh, some subjects later on in the uh, degree programme. Constitutional law, tort and contract, otherwise known as obligations, a bit of criminal law. And then we move on to the big subject of the year, European Union law. So that's the course in general. I then went on to talk about the TMAs. Uh, again, in a, in a general sense. And again, it is worth your time spending uh, um, a lot of effort looking at those pink sheets uh, in your manual that tell you about what we're looking for uh, in your TMAs. And in particular, from page 7 onwards, the um, criteria for each of the marking bands. Now, as I say, it's really worth you investing time in looking at what we're uh, looking for. You'll see that certain phrases keep coming up. Accuracy, uh, critical thinking. Do look at those bands. Do see what you need to get to get the band that you're looking for. Um, we have to mark to those. Uh, we may like you as an individual. Um, we might find your uh, essay interesting but we have to justify our marks by reference to those criteria. So if you know what they are, and you can look at your essays and say, yes, it is accurate, it is complete. Um, I have been involved in um, critical an analysis. Then you're going to get the highest marks. If it's just about description, then as long as it's you've got most things in, you'll pass, but you're not going to get the highest mark, so spend some time on that. Uh, the other things are the word limits are challenging, deliberately so, but they are absolute. You need to bring it down 
within those uh, figures. Similarly, the uh, time limits are, are, are absolute, and only in very serious circumstances uh, will you be able to get um, an extension. Now, if there are serious circumstances, like serious illness, like bereavement, then please do get in touch. But you're expected to plan ahead, so if uh, you're heavily involved in the uh, end of the year financial uh, uh, business in your, your company or you're going away on holiday, you need to plan ahead and get that done before. There won't be acceptable reasons. I finally looked at the uh, first TMA itself. It's very much about uh, what lawyers love best, which is definitions. You need to define legislation Act of Parliament, delegated legislation. Ask yourself the question, who makes them? And most importantly, by what authority? Discuss, and, and I would do this very briefly, how they're made. Look at the functions of delegated legislation. And this is where the critical um, thinking comes in. Uh, look at the criticisms. Uh, discuss them. Come to your own conclusions. The one thing that I will not appreciate is uh, essays which merely describe what other people think or try and get the right answer. We're looking for you to think legally, to critically analyse, and whether you come to a conclusion I agree with or not doesn't matter. It's that you've done the thinking, that uh, you've made good arguments, that you've weighed up the evidence for and against and come to a reasonable conclusion. Question two, you have the contrast between criminal law and civil law, uh, it, specifically in two areas, liability and procedure. Look at the differences, how one concept differs from another, compare and contrast, it's always a useful approach uh, to take when thinking, what's the same, what's different, why the differences? Look at the language used, look at the names of the parties, look at the results. And then you're looking at Courtney's liability. The civil liability, the criminal liability, the courts that will be involved, um, the types of offences, where the juries are involved, and who the parties will be. So lots of things to look at. Make sure that you've got a good hold on these issues, and then, within the word limit, Give me your answers. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you at the next TMA, at the next tutorial. <laughs>